Hello everyone, you're welcome to today's class. So we'll continue from we're still on work problems. Uh, we started it in our last video, so we continue today, and we're still on work problems. And in this class, we want to specifically uh, tackle problems on the following. So we'll first of all look at some key terms in this uh, uh, in this video. So what are the key terms we want to look at? So after the, the, uh, the key terms, we'll be able to solve our problems involving sums, differences, and products. So these are the key terms that we want to look at first. So we we'll look at these key terms first. Then we then look at examples on what problems that has to do with sums. Then we also look at what with differences and a that of a product. So I will advise again, uh, just try to pay attention to details here because uh, it's very important. This topic is one of the scary topics uh, most students uh, don't want to attend to whenever they come across it in exam. So please, uh, in the end, it's very simple. Seriously, it's very simple. So I need your attention, please. I need your attention. So let's get started. Now, the first one we're going to look at is uh, sums. When we talk about sums, key terms here. The key terms, the key terms. So we look at sums. When we talk about sum, sum is refers to addition. So that is, I'll just put it addition. So you're adding two things together. It means addition. Why differences? Difference, difference means subtraction of two numbers. So it's for adding two numbers together. That is subtraction. Subtraction. But under these differences, under this, we have two types of difference. We have a positive difference and a negative difference. What does that mean? So positive difference, we have what we call positive uh, difference. Positive difference. So positive difference is when you are subtracting smaller number from a bigger number. For example, you have 28 and that and you have 14. They ask what is the positive difference between 28 and uh, 14. That is, you have to subtract 14 from what? So now will be 28 minus 14. You're going to get positive as your what? Answer. So positive difference means subtracting a larger number, larger number minus smaller number. I hope that is clear. Okay. Then we have negative difference. Negative difference here. Negative what? Difference. So negative difference is telling us to subtract, uh, you're saying uh, 2 minus 5. 2 minus 5. Now. 2 minus 5, you get what? Minus 3. It's like, when you talk about minus here, you can see that the positive is at the front, while the negative is at the back. We are subtracting 5 from 2, which is impossible, right? We cannot count 2 and bring out 5 from it. So in that case, we, let's take it to real life. Positive means that you have something with you, while the negative 5 means that you are owing it, right? So if you pay 2 out of what you are owing, you pay 2 out of 5 that you owe someone. So it means you're still owing that person 3 there. So that's not going to be minus. So this is what we call negative for difference. Subtracting the bigger number from the word smaller number. So that is uh, smaller number, smaller number minus minus bigger number. Is that clear? I hope it is clear. So these are the key terms we want to look at. Other sums and uh, their products. So product of two numbers. When we talk about product of two numbers, product of two numbers uh, is the result of multiplying the two numbers together. But you ask, what is the product of two and five? You ask how what? That is ten, right? So that means the product of two numbers is the uh, multiplication. So product means multiplication. So the result. Let me put it in this way. The result. The result. The result of multiplying multiplying two numbers. Result of multiplying two numbers is, is the what? Is the product. 
So if I say the product, the product of 2 and 5 is what? That is 10. So 10 is the product of what? 2 and 5. That is 2, two multiplied by 5 gives us what? 10. So the 10 is what? Is the product. I believe I'm making sense. Because it's like we are dealing with grammar here, we're dealing with English. If you are unable to interpret English very well, you have a problem with this topic. And I've told you the methods in our previous video, which we are still going to follow here. Right? So we are going to now be looking at them one by one. Having understood the key terms involved in it. So by the time we go into examples now, you now be seeing the, the meaning of all these things. So please stay, pay attention to details here. So we move to examples now. Let's look at examples. We have these uh, examples. So we're going to look at the first example. Uh, the first three examples will be on sums and differences when you see this type of question like this. So now, the first one says the sum of a certain number and 24 is 98. Find the number. You know, the first step in answering uh, what problem is that you read the question carefully to understand it. The sum of certain number and 24 is 98. Find the number, right? Good. Now, then the next thing is that pick out the most important aspect of the question. So the sum, we're talking about sum. Sum means what? Add. We add. You add to it. Sum of a certain number. We don't know the number. And 24. So we feel we're talking about certain number and what? 24. They are sum. That's when you add the two numbers together, you will get what? 98. Find the number. So the next stage, after underlining the most important aspect of it, is to represent what you are looking for. What are you looking for? Find the number. Which number? We don't know the number. So we can we can now use any letter of, of the alphabet to what to represent that number we are looking for. So in that case, uh, in solving this now, in solving this, in solving this, we're going to say let the number, let the number be what any letter. Let's say x, x. So the sum of a certain number. That is the certain number x plus 24 is 98 you can see we have now interpreted what the question to what to form what equation so we now solve this equation after solving it then we can now answer our question so in this case we solve this so we're going to subtract both sides 24 from both sides so in that case we're going to have x equals what 98 minus what 24 so that gives what x equals what uh, 4 7, 74 so we can say therefore the number the, the number the number is what is what 74 so that is that you can see we're moving from uh, simple to complex now so we, you can see how this is being uh, addressed now so move to the second question let me clean this side or let me clean this side to, to add. for question number two so we have very careful here the difference between 12 and another number the difference between 12 and another number so what's the of difference let's read the question at the end the difference between 12 and another number is minus 25 right what are the two positive Possible numbers. So we're going to have two positive. How come? So let's review. Let's look at the interpretation. So we have read it. So we're now curious. How two numbers? How come? So let's read it again. The difference between twelve and another number. That another number we don't know. So we have the key points here. Uh, difference uh, between twelve and another number. And the, the difference when you subtract them, you get what minus twenty five. Right, good. This are going to that we are going to have two answers. Number one is that they are, we are we don't we, they are not telling us that are we subtracting twelve from that number or we are subtracting that number from what twelve. So either the case here they are silent. In that case, that's why they ask us what for two possible numbers. That is, we are subtracting twelve from that number. 
1, 2. Or we are subtracting number, that number from what? From 12. So in that case, the same thing will be to follow. Uh, solution 2, we're going to follow the same thing. Let the number, let the number, the number be y. So we're going to have two cases, right? Two cases. The first case is that the difference between 12, so we can say 12 minus y equals to 98. Or y minus 12 equals to what? 98. Then we then solve for both of them. So we have two answers. We're going to have two answers. So in this case, we're going to have minus y equals to 98. This will come here and become what? Minus what? 12. So let's read this one. And that's minus y equals to what? This is going to be 86. So y equals to what? Minus what? 86. Minus will go there. Right? Or we have this. That would be y equals to 98. Then it becomes what? Plus. So y equals to what? That is what? Uh, 110. 110. Because 2 plus 8 is 10. Carry 1. 11. So that so we define the two possible numbers. So we're not going to this is not we're going to stop because the, in the question we don't have y y there, right? So we are just using the equation to solve the problem. So you have to state your answer at the end of this this week. So we're going to have this. We're going to have this. The two possible numbers. The two possible possible numbers. Are minus 86 and the what and 100 and what 110. That's what. So that is that solve it. You can see what problems is is what is one of the simplest if you understand the, 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 the logic behind it. If you can take your time to interpret questions carefully, you know have problem with it. You get it. That is just it. But what you need to understand is that it's easier said than done. So you have to practice a lot of questions. You have to practice questions on it. You practice as many as possible questions. So once you practice as many as possible questions, you don't have a problem with it. So you must meet up, come across so many kind of questions that will give you a problem and at the end of the day you still solve it. The problem. Is that clear? So let's move to the third one. The third example that we have here. So three, the sum of four consecutive odd numbers is 112. What are the numbers? Now, we have read it once. Now, let's read it again for better understanding. The sum of four consecutive odd numbers is 112. What are the numbers? Which means what we are looking for, they are, they are how many? They are four. They are no more. Right? So, in that case, let's pick out the most important aspect of this problem. We have some, we have consecutive odd numbers. Good. And that's all. We have some, which is 1 and 12, four consecutive odd numbers. Now, we need to ask ourselves, what are consecutive numbers before we go to odd numbers? When we talk about consecutive numbers, consecutive numbers are numbers that follow one another without any break. For example, you, you start from 2 now. The next number after 2 is what? 3. After 3 is what? 4. After 4 is what? 5. What if you have 2 now? You have 4. Huh? You have 5. You have 6. You now have 10. That's not that. The numbers are not consecutive. They are not in order. Is that clear? So, what if, we, if the question now is asking us odd numbers? Not odd nine, Odd numbers. So, you have to be very careful. So, the first thing we're going to do is we look at the first odd number. So we say let the first odd number, let the first odd number be uh, P. You know, odd numbers are numbers that cannot be divided by 2 without having a remainder. So the first odd number is 1. Three, five. You notice that odd numbers we have two two numbers interval. So it's supposed to have two here. So the difference between this and this is two. The difference between this and this is two. So in that case, 
the first one, the first one is one. The second one will be one plus two to get the, the third one, which is three. Three plus two, you get the fourth, the third one. Is that clear? So if the, if the first odd number is P, the second second odd number, second odd number will be what? P plus two. Why the third one will be what? The second one, which is what? P plus two plus two. The first one will be what? P. When you open this one, you have P plus what? Four. So the first one is what? P plus what? Six. I hope I'm making sense. So their sum will give us this. Their sum will give us what? This. So at least we're going to add P plus this plus this plus this. We give us 412. So in that case, we're going to have this. P plus P plus 2 plus P plus 4 plus P plus 6 equals to what? 104. Don't forget, let me repeat this side for you. The first odd number is P. The second odd number will be P plus 2 because that's how it odd number after odd number the next one will be even so the next one will be odd so it will be plus two so if it is just ordinary number it's going to be plus one plus one plus one plus one the difference between them will be just the one one is that clear so this will be plus two to get the third one that will be second one plus two that's p plus two which is this one plus two which will give us p plus four so the fourth one what since this one is p plus four Plus two we give us p plus six. That is p plus two plus four plus two. That is p plus what six. So we add everything together. So let's add the p's together. One, two, three, four. That is four p. Then two, the numbers two plus four. That is six plus six plus four equals to one hundred and twelve. So if we collect like times. That will be four p. Equals to 112 minus 4. That is 4p equals to what? 100. So p, we divide both sides by what? By 4. By 4. So in that case, so that, in that case, so 4 cancel 4 here. 4 year 1, 4 year was 25. So that means we need to have P equals to what? 25. So what are the numbers? Because you're going to say, what are the numbers? So this is the first number. So the second number, so the numbers, the numbers are 25. The next one plus 2, 27. The next one plus 2, 29. The next one plus 2, Let's add everything together. We must get one and twelve. So twenty-five plus this one will give us fifty-two. Fifty-two plus twenty-nine will give us what? Eighty-one. Eighty-one plus thirty-one. This is two, right? This is what? Eleven. One hundred and twelve. As we have it there. So that is that on it. Don't forget that you must practice questions. Go and look for questions anyway. If you have any problem with anyone, in the comment section. Type the question. If it's a small problem, type the question. I will see the questions and I will solve it for you. So go and bring any questions on what problem. So then we move to our products now. Let's move to products. This one is on products. So the product examples, I've, made, I've explained what products uh, means. So the product of three numbers, the product of three numbers is minus 210. If two of the numbers are minus five and a seven, find the third number. So we have three numbers, three numbers, products. So the same process, you read it twice or three times. The product of three numbers, these are the key important things, is 210. If two of the numbers are this and this, Find the third numbers. So the meaning of product is that you multiply them together. So solution to solve this, to solve this is very straightforward. So the product of let 
the third number, B. Let the third number, the third number, the third number be X or be Q. So the product of the three numbers now will be Q multiplied by minus 5 multiplied by what? 7 will give us what? Minus 210. So it remains the Q. So in this case, this minus 6 gives, um, multiplied by this, we got minus 35 plus Q equals to what? 210. So we divide both sides, minus 210, divide both sides, minus 35, minus what? 35. This cancel this. Q will then be equal to minus cancel minus first, right? 7 can go here 5, 7 can go here 3, that is 35 here on 5 here 6. So which means the third number, the third number, the third, the third number, the third number is what? 6. I hope it is very clear. Good. So let's look at the last question here. We have it. It's the first one here, one product. So this one, we are very careful. So find the positive difference between the product, positive difference between the product of 2.8 and 0 0.16 and the positive difference between 2.8 and 0 0.16. You have to be very careful with this type of value. If you are going to be missing, as simple as it is, you have to be very, very careful. Find the positive difference. Between what? Between this, the product of this, and the positive difference between this. That is, we must first of all multiply this together, subtract this, then find the, the difference between this and this. The answer to this. So we are looking for this, we find the product of this, then we have the difference of this. So we now have positive difference between this. And you can see the connection. Find the positive difference between this, the product of this and this. And the positive difference between what? This and this. You can see. So you have to be very, very careful when you are reading it. So in that case, what are we going to do first? So let's look at the product of 2.8 and 0 0.16. Product of... Product of... 2.8 and 0 0.16, 0 0.16. We find the product we write it here. Then the difference between the two, difference, difference between 2.8 and the what? 0 0.16. You find the difference. After that, you then find positive difference between this and this. Okay. 2.8 times 0 0.16 and that is what 0 0.44448 right 0 0.448 then this one difference positive difference that is subtract it from this 2.8 minus 0 0.16 by the time you subtract it's going to have 2.64 so positive difference between these two so which one is bigger this is bigger than this. So positive difference now. Positive, positive difference between the two. We then be 2.64 minus 0 0.448. So that will give us 2.192. So that is us our answer. So that is how to solve uh, all problems involving sums, differences, and uh, products. So that is the end of this video. Uh, if you find this video helpful and useful, don't forget to watch, to give us a like, a big like one, and then subscribe to this channel if you are new to this channel and turn your notification bell. Anytime I do the uh, volume, in volume videos like this, you will be able to get access to it on time. So I wish you well. Uh, if you have any question, type it in the comment section of this video. I will surely answer you. And if you have problems, uh, work problems on this, I will surely answer you as well. So we still have more to talk about on work problems, so which we we'll look at in our next uh, video. Work problem is very long. We we'll look at one that will lead to fractions. We we'll look at one that will lead to what? 
We can still look at the one that we used to simultaneously put our soul. So bye for now. Meet in the next video. Bye.